Hey girl. Ow! Look at that blonde hair. Isn't it great? <laughs> so ghetto fabulous. I love it. It was at the $2 thrift store. I was like, this is happening. It's got snaps. Otherwise known as Courtney's Closet. <laughs> oh my god. I had to stop myself from fucking going there. It's like, I used to drive, drive, drive. I drove the bus. I used to drive the bus past that place all the fucking time. And I played this game where it's like, alright, if the bus stops at the stop without me pulling the cord, then that means I should go there. And then I'd pull a cord and the bus would stop and I'd get off and go shop. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day, how many people I know here in Los Angeles that were born and raised here, or at least in one of the surrounding towns, and have literally never taken a bus. Yeah, you, you're quite the bus lady. Well, I think everybody should like try public transportation. And again, it's the idea that of course it would be a bit more convenient to be able to drive everywhere that you need to go you get to listen to your own music choose your own thing yada 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 but personally i think everybody should be forced to have to be in the presence of other people like to be <laughs> giving yeah. forcing people you must interact <laughs> that's what that sounds like everyone must be forced to be around the public well, we choose our tribes all the time while ignoring that other tribes exist, you know? And it's like, these are these are my people, and I get everything because I found these like-minded people. And it's like, that's cool, but really you're just living in an echo chamber because you've surrounded yourself by completely like-minded individuals. If you have to get on a fucking bus and deal with one half <laughs> being fucking crazy people screaming because, I don't know, they wanted to sit in a in the wheelchair area and a guy in a wheelchair wanted to get on this happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like personal experience. <laughs> the first day, well I guess technically the day after you blonded me, I was on the bus and I rarely get cat called. Like it happens but it's usually nothing to write home about. Like any chick has dealt with getting a cat call. That's mm -hmm. been my experience. This guy was fucking persistent. It, <laughs> It was just, hey Blondie, you got some pretty honey hair. <gasps> oh god. Which in a weird way is kind of a compliment, like honey hair, honey, buddy. honey hair. Those bum interactions, they used to freak me out so much when I was younger. This The first time I ever came to Hollywood, um, we were like looking at all the stars and we found Marilyn Monroe's, was right for McDonald's, we're like, that's great. Um, really? And that's when Hollywood was shit, there wasn't anything in Hollywood, it was really crazy and ugly. No, that is that much better, but anyway. I love it. My sisters and I were like, okay, well let's just get something to eat really good so we have to go back up to the north and um, like back to my aunt's house. And we were like, let's just go to McDonald's. So I'm eating, we're like sitting there with our McDonald's, eating like our hamburgers and um, this bum comes up to us like, do you guys get just like 10 cents and our money's like sitting on our, our like <laughs> tray like idiots? Like really? Like why would you just leave your money sitting on a tray? So I just need 10 cents. Just 10 cents so I get a hamburger and then he gives him 10 cents and then I'm like, oh my god, why'd you do that? And I'm like, our money was sitting out there. And he's like, well, I'd rather, maybe I don't want the 10 cents, maybe I want to eat you. And I'm like 12, <laughs> so this is like super creepy for me. And um, then I'm like, we were eating and I'm going to throw away the rest of my food and it was like, I had like all these fries and I was throwing them away so, those could have been my fries, bitch. And I'm like, oh my god, and this is a white man in like a leisure <laughs> suit, like with a gold chain, probably wasn't gold, it had a quarter machine or something, but it was like, I was so freaked out because all this craziness was like directed at me and I'm like, oh. I do love Hollywood Boulevard. I love it to death. I love walking it. But I was so unaccustomed, like, the concept of homelessness existed only in books and films to me. Oh. Until we went on our first field trip into D.C. I took a picture of a homeless guy. I'd never seen one. I'd never <laughs> seen one. What's that, mama? It's like, oh, that's a homeless person. Like, I'd never seen a homeless person before. That's crazy. You really don't have them in Mechanicsville? No, I mean, it's it's all fucking country and woods. Like, if you're homeless, you're probably in a barn, so you're never homeless. <laughs> Isn't a home just a couple of walls and a roof? Right, yeah. I feel it in my toes. I feel it in my 
toes. We're yeah. doing that. We're doing that version, Courtney. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's my favorite romantic comedy? Yeah. I don't know, I used to really like, not used to, I love those like old 1930s ones because they're just ridiculous. <laughs> I watched like every single one of them. I was like, I hate rom coms, I hate them. I used to always say it, like, I don't like girly movies. And then I realized that all of those old 1930s movies I was watching were romantic comedies. And I was like, okay, never mind, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I really love those. <laughs> There's so much variation in romantic comedies. But I love the ones back then, they were just smart and silly, and like, it was always like they were already married, and then they were, um, trying to get back together, I feel like. Mm -hmm. It was just funny. I don't know. I just enjoy them more. <laughs> they're more silly and madcap. Now they're all like serious. You know, my dad was a kid. He once he was made... Found the basket. He was not. But he did make <laughs> friends with this basket. catfish. With this catfish from the local stream. And over time, he slowly was able... You know, catfish can actually survive out of water pretty long. Like, they're tough fucking fish, so... I didn't know he, that. Yeah, no, they're really, really tough. That's why, like, whatever. So, he had this friend that was a catfish, and he started, like, taking the catfish out of the water more and more and more and more and more, because he basically wanted a fish that could kind of survive out of water for a while. And eventually, he got this catfish to survive for hours out of the water. That's nuts. Hours, right? But do you know what happened? This is so sad. It died. Well, he was taking the catfish over a bridge, tripped, dropped him, and the catfish drowned. What? <laughs> is that a joke? Yeah. Oh my God, that is such a Virginia joke. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <gasps> My dad used to tell me that when I was waiting for the bus in elementary school, and I would My dad used to tell me that when I was waiting for the bus in elementary school. Have you heard about Dr. Jesus? I I heard of him. He laid down and rose again. Wow, Good in a boy. day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the dog Jesus though. Yeah, I think we should like start that. Yeah. It's a series. You know, all we need is one good oil painting, and we'll go from there. Don't believe me? Ask everybody what um, fucking Mary, Mother of God, looks like. They'll tell you she's white with some blue shit on her. You know why? Oil painting. Dog. Oil painting of a dog. Dog oh. Jesus. I give it 20 years. Scientology happened in what? 20? So 15. 15 years. Dog Jesus. Have you ever made like a hair egregious mistake? Like mess up someone's hair? Yeah. No. I mean, probably people have not really liked it because we had miscommunication or something like that, but that's like very rare. Like pretty much every person who came to me came back to me. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds really arrogant, but it's like just what happened. I mean, I know I've pissed, I've like pissed somebody off and they didn't come back to me anymore just because like maybe like we didn't agree with something politically or something like that <laughs> or whatever but you know I mean I feel like that happens with just you know misunderstandings between people yeah in general or was it politically I don't know uh. I really do think that like People treat you differently depending on your hair color, and it's weird. No, they it's definitely like, do. It's <laughs> awkward. But then, like, if it's just you, it's one wand, you're like, okay, I'm getting away with things. Then you get another wand with you, and it's like, oh, all, like, no rules. And then another one, it's just, like, batshit crazy. How like, do you have, it's like, weird. wolf pack moments? <laughs> with guys... blondes? Yeah, I guess like... I am always in a blondage. Like, <laughs> I think it's, like, better in safety and numbers. Like, when you're alone and somebody's, like, like, you experienced my bus, it was persistent and scary. It's, like, it's kind of scary. You're, like, I don't know what to do. I just, like, clam up. Because, like, it's either, okay, do I say, hey, you know, thank you for sending that compliment to me, whatever you're yelling. Or do you just, like, cower and just keep walking? Especially when you're on your own. You're, like, are they going to go crazy? Because some guys are weird. They'll, like, get mad at you and they'll be like, oh, fine, whatever, fuck, and, you know? And, like, you're like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't, like, respond to you yelling at me. And here Courtney is. Sweet. Beautiful. Classy. A lady. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, sorry. Super smart. You're blaming it on thick now. It is really pretty color. It really is. It's a I know, gorgeous It's color. really pretty. And now that I'm seeing it more in the light, I'm like, this is great. I love it when you do mine or someone else's hair, and then you're and like, I'm like, this is awesome. On.
I did really good here. Pretty fucking good. Well, you know, I had an idea of what it was going to be like, but then you do it and it's like amazing and you're like, wow, I really like that. You know, I didn't know what to expect at all because I have no idea what levels the mm -hmm. hair goes down as you process. This has been really interesting because last one did have that like golden honey yeah. aspect to it. And now look at this is more like even blonder and like not too crazy. Margo, I know you're Margo. that excited about it. Margo. Yeah, and you did the you did the layers on there as well too, right? I didn't cut your hair. No, no, no. I mean, in the color. Oh, like, it's layered color, right? Well, it's like two different colors, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Et voila. <laughs> Hey girl, looking good. Oh, I want to mess up that hair. I think I'm fine. Really? We're, like, we're like doing a show here. We're like doing this is a part of the show. This is a part of the show.